Hello everyone, this is Jim Walker with Jim Walker Archery and today I am working on a raccoon trap. All right, what does this have to do with archery? Well, I'll show you in a moment. Um, so first of all, I took this old um, dog carrier and uh, re-rigged it into a raccoon catcher. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in and show you a couple of the details. To start, I had a real problem trying to figure out how to get the uh, latch to drop. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Tried a few different things, nothing worked. All right, so what I have here is a latch, it's a drop latch. And uh, I'm gonna bring the phone over here and give you a real close up and we'll kind of talk about how I got that to work. It's kind of, kind of interesting. Here we go. All right, so what I did here was uh, I took the latch, it's a little drop latch, as you can see here, normally it would just drop. And so what I use is rubber bands, took some rubber bands, as you'll see here, and a little bobby pins and kind of rigged it up so that it uh, has two directions of force here. So one actually pushes it down and the trigger here is this little uh, round little dowel um, thing, round plastic thing. And what's cool about it is that it just basically holds the uh, point, as you can see, lock. And then when it gets pushed out, the rubber band pulls it down. All right, but that was pretty cool. And uh, so what happens is that when it drops, when it's, when it's ready. What it does, whoops, let me just do that again. Drop it, lock it, and all right. So what happens is this little thing here gets pushed out and then the um, then the rubber band that's there pushes it down. Ha, <laughs> pretty ingenious, huh? All right, so about the uh, archery part of it. Well, as you can see, my trigger point happens to be uh, a archery point and an old uh, fiberglass arrow that I had laying around. And then I pushed that, uh, I then glue that onto a uh, pressure board. So that little pressure board right there, it's pretty cool. All right, so what happens is little critter steps on the board and then um, I'll show you that in a little bit. It drops and then the door closes. Pretty cool too. All right, so hold on a moment and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I've gone ahead and set it up for you so you can see how she works here. I've got my little uh, trigger right there so when it drops it opens and drops the latch into place and then that's followed by a nice little uh, line here takes it to the point and then what we have here is our is our archery point oh yeah nice little sharp so that when the little critter walks on the plate pressure plate down there is triggered here we go then the door closes and locks him in all right so let's go ahead and set it up okay just double checking that everything is set up got my trigger ready Got my line in place. Okay, now the uh, pressure plate down here is essentially just some particle board uh, with uh, some little uh, tie, ties holding it up. All right, so now I'm gonna trigger it. I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready for a little critter to walk by and trigger my trap. So I take, the, uh, take my archery point and bring the washer down low onto the top of the cage until just about where it's gonna trigger. Like a hair trigger, actually. Oh, see, that's how easy she works. All right, so straight, set it up again. Set it up. Put my line over the top. Set on my trigger. All right, let's see if we can do this a little better this time. Maybe a little bit too hair trigger. Oh, one more time. A little lower on my point. This time. All right, it's ready to go. All right, so little critter comes walking over, goes into the trap, says, ooh, yum, look, apple, yum, yum. 